Hey everyone, and welcome back to our Animal Crossing New Leaf town of Lorien. We're here with Isabel, who's about to remind us that it's Shamrock Day today. Okay, it's a day late, but we're recording this on Shamrock Day, so uh, we're going to see what it has to offer. I have something for just this occasion, so come find me later to get it. Sounds exciting. Okay, here we are in our green for shamrock day. We found this outfit at Abel's yesterday. It's called the lime dress, so I sure hope it counts as green. And of course we have our little green dotted shoes that we got from Gracie Grace on as well. Let's just see what's in the mail. I do have some mail that I've been meaning <laughs> to uh, show you guys, but you know, we'll, we'll get to the mail in a minute. We gotta get to the fun stuff. Where? Shamrock Day. I'm assuming that Isabel is gonna be in the plaza. There she is. Look at her in her little green suit. <laughs> oh no, it looks like uh, Chip's tent knocked out a corner of our little design here, so we'll have to fix that later. Oh, look at this. Too cute. Hilarious. <laughs> We do a different little look every time. <laughs> I'm looking for a thumbnail though. Oh, not that one. Probably just that first one. <laughs> okay, that's super fun. All right, let's talk to Isabel. Oh, Mayor Marilee, you came. What do you think of my outfit? I think it's lovely, Isabel. You look great in green. Since today is Shamrock Day, I just thought I'd wear something green. Me too. I've prepared some special gifts to celebrate Shamrock Day. Would you like one? Yeah, we would. Ooh, it's a hat. It's a hat. Please wear that Shamrock hat and celebrate Shamrock Day with me, Mayor. We'll have tons of fun. Yay. <laughs> there we go. Now we're looking the part. <laughs> Super fun. All right, what happens if we talk to her again? It's just not Shamrock Day without a hat like that. You are so right. Since you've got the green part down, go out and enjoy the day. Thank you, Isabel. Where's your Shamrock hat, by the way? You're too cute to wear that. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're going to go talk to some of our villagers and find out what's going on with them. And, oh, real quick before we start that, though. We do want to look at our mail. I don't know what this stuff is. It's from Bob. What's Bob sending us? I had this really scary dream last night. You disappeared from our town. Merrily, promise me you'll never leave. You have to stay here forever. Promise from Bob. Oh, that's sad. Sky's having a birthday party. Sky's house on the 24th. No need to RSVP, just show up in your party clothes. Okay, we gotta try to remember this. The 24th, what day is that? Okay, that's a week from today. So next Sunday, we have to go to Sky's birthday party. We have a letter from Katie because Katie showed up in our town the other day and we took her to another town and dropped her off. <laughs> Thanks so much for showing me the way. I drew these pictures of all sorts of things for my adventures. I love drawing. Katie. Okay, so Katie sent us some drawings. That's fun. We'll have to try to look at that. We're gonna have to pick some stuff up in our house because it won't let us put anything else down right now. <laughs> we have too much stuff in there already. All right, from Gulliver. We helped him figure out that he was on his way to India. Thanks to you, I've been eating delicious curries every day. I heard someone play an instrument I thought you'd enjoy. Okay, so what is this gonna be? It is a sitar. I hope that's how you say it. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's run into our house really quickly. Okay, you know what? We're going to pick up this two and we're going to pick up... I don't know. What else can we pick up right now? <laughs> oh, I can pick up this little cushion that I just sat on. Except my packets are full. Okay, guys. We're doing great so far today. <laughs> uh, let's put our little wig away. We'll put our lion mask away for now. Um, and see if we can find some room for the rest of this. I ordered a new, it found out that I could order the Gulliver items. So the Mexican doll that we accidentally sold, I got another one of. Okay, I think that gives us a, a little bit of room in our pocket. So we can pick some stuff up and look at what we've got here. Oh my goodness. Let's display the sketchbook. Oh, and we can look through her little sketchbook. 
How cute! She drew a snowman! Aw, oh, that's super cute! What an awesome little item! Thank you for little Katie! Okay, we're gonna pick up this chihuahua and see what this little Mexican doll looks like that we accidentally sold before. So it's like a little skeleton mariachi guy, which is pretty cool. Probably not- stop sitting on that. <laughs> Probably not gonna leave that out right now. And then what was the other thing we wanted to look at? The instrument from India. Okay, pretty cool. Nice. All right. Well, let me throw a couple more of these things in the storage. All right. Let's see if we can find some villagers to talk to and see what they're saying about Shamrock Day. You're wearing that snazzy Shamrock hat because you're celebrating Shamrock Day today, right? It's a shame we don't get more into the holiday since Isabel tries so hard with it. But I'm glad you're at least out and talking about the holiday. Me too. Let's dig this up while we're right here. Who, who else just got away over here? <laughs> it was Sky. Oh my, that's a wonderful hat you're wearing. You're really getting into the spirit of Shamrock Day. Yeah, we are, thanks. Okay, looks like Bob's not home. Whose house is this? Cole's? He's not home either, is he? Some of them don't have uh, chimneys, so we can't tell if they're home or not. Nope, he's out on a snack run. All right, let's see if we can go find everybody. There's Bob. There's Harry. Wow, your hat is seriously sweet. It's perfect for today. Thanks, Bob. Heh, <laughs> that a shamrock hat on your head there? That's the perfect hat for a good shamrock day. Did you plan it that way to avoid getting pinched? Or do you just have really good luck? Well, what better day to feel lucky than today? <laughs> You're so right, Harry. No, Isabel gave us this hat. Isn't she nice? I guess the villagers haven't gone to collect theirs yet. <laughs> Hey, today is Shamrock Day. That hat looks pretty good on you. It's a good thing you've got that hat on. Otherwise, you'd be in for a rude awakening, right? No pinches for you. <laughs> so I wonder if the hat is the only thing that keeps you... Let's see. All right, we're going to test this. Let's take the hat off for a minute. Oh, whoops. and talk to another villager and see what they say if we don't have the shamrock hat on. We should find somebody up here. I've been working hard on the path, by the way. And I don't know if I showed you guys yet, but all our trees are grown in around the campsite over here. We got our little bench in. Super cute. I gotta find one more red Cosmo to go in the back there. But I keep getting distracted and forgetting what I'm looking for. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's see if this is a lucky clover today. Nope. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try to stay on the path. Because this is one of those towns where the grass will fade before we run over it. Thankfully, it's not as bad as city folk. Yay, you came to see my house, Marilee. Oh, so what's going on? Let's chat. I heard you made an awesome wish on your birthday. Like, beautiful day? Oh, wow, she's still talking about that? <laughs> I hope your wish comes true. It's important to have big dreams. I've got a million of them. Okay, so she didn't say anything about Shamrock Day. Now let's put it back on. Where did you get that hat? It's like totally awesome. Oh, wait, a hat with a shamrock on it? Duh, you must be wearing that for Shamrock Day. Way to dress for the occasion, Marilee. Well, that answers that. <laughs> they don't even mention it if you don't have the hat on, so that's kind of fun. We'll just keep our hat on and see who else, um, see if Deirdre's home here. Oh, look at Tangy's little fish-shaped <laughs> smoke. That's super cute. Let's see what's on the board up here. Tomorrow is Shamrock Day. You might get pinched if you don't wear green, so prepare early. It's all in good fun, so let's celebrate tomorrow. We are celebrating. Super fun.
and collecting some fossils. Oh, there's one back here too. Kinda hidden. Ah, it's a pitfall. Oh, you know what? And somebody told me if I bury one of those and just keep it, whoops, keep it buried, that uh, they won't keep spawning every day. So maybe we'll just leave that there and hope we remember that that's what that is. <laughs> we'll see. I may dig it up again tomorrow. All right, I'm going to mess with the rocks later. Right now we're working on Shamrock Day. I wonder if any of the NPCs say anything about it besides Isabel. Ooh, looks like we got some extra pansies growing in up here. We'll have to arrange them a little bit. I want to put pansies all down the sides of the path here. Let's see if Reese says anything. Nope, same old stuff. <laughs> okay. Do we have something waiting? Yes, we do. We got this alpine cabinet customized with the rain pattern. So we're going to take that home. I just wanted to see how it looked. Oh, Lyman. <laughs> Hello. I'm the type of guy who can't decide things right away. All right, it's time for me to pick one now. Here we go. What do you do? <laughs> Are you looking for anything in particular? I never know what I'm looking for until I see it. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to talk about Shamrock Day while he's shopping. Who else have we not talked to? We haven't talked to Allie. Oops, I do need to work on getting a path down through here. Because I keep trying to turn right and I'm afraid I'm going to tear up those flowers up there. Alright, let's see if Allie's at home. I do like having these paths around to follow. She's out for a walk. Is she nearby? <laughs> oh, there's a red Cosmo. Let's grab it while we see it. Alright, um, that's Lyman's house. Oh, we got another dig spot. Gonna be making a visit to Blathers. Wait, that is Lyman's house, right? Suddenly I don't recognize it. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, where's Allie though? I don't know if it's the same in this game, like that if they're if they're walking around the museum or something that they won't show up in town because before we talked to Sky somewhere and then she was in the museum, like right after that. But she was already in the downtown too. Maybe Allie's downtown. Let's go up to the main street. I call it downtown. It's Main Street. <laughs> Let's go up to Main Street and see if we can go all the way there on the paths. That's, that's the goal, is to be able to get everywhere on the paths. I don't see her. Maybe she's in Abel's or something. don't see Allie here either, but while we have our lucky hat on, let's see how we do with a fortune today. We'll take one. Let's see if we can get something new. There was a fortune inside! The future is a mystery that may hold great treasures for you. Ooh, I don't think we've gotten that one. All right, let's talk to Tommy. Timmy. <laughs> we'll talk to Timmy. We got a lucky ticket. Number 25. Congratulations! A question mark block. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Probably go put it in the museum with our other um, star man and banana peels. And we just dipped into Club LOL because we do have some bananas to bring to Dr. Shrunk to get another <laughs> emotion. 
We brought you a banana this time. See what what emotion we get on Shamrock Day. How about I tell you a really good joke today? Have to get ready first. Wait here a sec. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My curiosity joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. Have I ever got a serious case of the what in the worlds today? Want to know why? It's all because of something my kid said last night. So he hears a knock, right? And he goes to the door and shouts, Who is it? Just like I taught him, right? And a woman on the other side yells, I'm selling candy. May I speak to the head of this household? And what does he say? Get this. My mom is out right now. My own kid says that. Can you believe it? I mean, what in the world? I think this is the first time you've seen my curiosity joke. Alright, so now we have curiosity. Let's check it out. Huh? <laughs> I think we should be carrying our green glow wand <laughs> since it's green day. Let's we'll see if we see Allie on the way back to the plaza. She's got to be around somewhere. It still takes a little bit of learning our way around even with the paths here. Okay, well, I don't see Allie. <laughs> All right, so guys, that was a quick look at Shamrock Day in New Leaf, but we're going to skip back to yesterday, actually, and check out the fishing tourney that happened on Saturday. And then we'll end the episode with a random dream. It's fishing tourney day here in Lorien. <laughs> and Marilee just found this lion's dance hat up at Abel's and uh, thought it would be funny to wear it for a little while. So we're going to check in with Chip over here and see what we need to be doing. Chip. This month's fishing tourney is all about the loach. Whoever catches the biggest loach wins. Do you want to hear more? Sure. When you catch yourself a loach, bring it to me and I'll measure it for you. Every time you break a first place record, I'll give you something good, so try your best to get first place. I'm accepting entries until 6 p.m. If you're in the top three at 6 p.m., you'll be in the awards ceremony. So fish, 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 and fish more. Keep bringing me every last loach. Oh, I should let you know I'm keeping the fish you give me. Keep that in mind, okay? Good. Well, good luck. Or say, nyuk. <laughs> you don't have a fishing rod, do you? If one of mine is fine, you can have it for 500 bells. What do you say to that deal? Uh, no, we actually have one. Thank you. We must have it tucked in a letter. Let's check and see. Oh, goodness, our pockets are full, too. There it is. A nice silver fishing rod. We'll put our net away for now because we don't need that. Uh, we might have to run up to Blathers and try to get rid of some of these fossils and stuff first. So let's, uh, let's do that before we start fishing the loach. Well, that explains why all of our villagers are over here fishing in the river. So we're trying to catch a loach. And while we run, uh, I can kind of show you some of the new path I've put in, which you might have already seen on St. Patty's Day, actually. <laughs> Ooh, balloon. There we go. My button wasn't working for a second there. What do we get? A cable spool. Yeah, we'll sell that. <laughs> Not in need of any cable spools. Oh, and one of our gold nuggets. I had them in my pocket yesterday because I was trying to um, decorate, lay down some path, and I had the gold nuggets in my pocket. And who was it? Somebody. I want to say maybe Ward Jr. bought one of them from me for 7,200 bells, so not too bad. We need the bells. Because we have a coffee shop to pay for. 
Blathers. Um, we would like you to assess some fossils. More than one I see. Let's take a closer look. All of these are simply quite splendid, but we already have them on display. Okay. So we get to sell all of them, which is good. That's money towards our coffee shop fund. Uh, no, we don't need anything else, but we probably should run upstairs and see if there's anything new in Celeste's little shop up here. Oh, a handy dandy little pointer arrow. Okay. And some more walls and floors. I'm not going to look at what they are because they've been pretty... It's like museum floor and wall, exhibit floor and wall, and dig site floor and wall. <laughs> I think those are the only ones I've seen in there, so... Alright, let's go sell some stuff to Reese and then we're going to fish, fish, fish. We'll see if this lion's dance mask brings us some fishing luck. Do we have any new mushrooms around our stump? Not yet. Haven't found the money rock today yet either. Ooh. Clover. I should have left it there for St. Patty's Day. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, we went right past Reese's, didn't we? we gotta get our fishing rod ready. Let's go get some pocket space. I want to might check with Cyrus too because um, I was getting something customized just to see what it looked like. Let's see, we're gonna sell those. What's this? A balloon floor? We're gonna sell that. We don't want to sell our Wii U. We, we do want to sell the cable spool. Keeping the lamp and we're keeping our wig. Okay. 7,000 bells. We'll take it. Okay, so he only charged me a couple hundred bells, and I got it changed to beige with the rain design on it. So this is still the Alpine furniture. I just thought it might be fun to see some of the different uh, customization options. Because we do have a few other pe pieces of Alpine, whoa, of Alpine furniture. Uh, and I'm really, I want to collect the set. So w I ordered some today too that we cataloged for, um, during a visit from our friend Sassy Granny. We cataloged each other's Alpine furniture. So I don't know, yesterday it wasn't letting me put any new furniture down in here because it said I had too many things. I don't know if that has to do with the size of the room or what. But we're gonna have to put this in in our cabinet right now because <laughs> we don't have room. I don't know if we we don't have much room in storage anymore either, so we're gonna have to watch it. I'm gonna keep our wig just in case we get tired of being a, a dancing lion or it brings us bad luck or something. You know what while we're right here we should do wisp. And I can't figure out the good angle to where <laughs> you guys can see. <laughs> no. It like always turns so there's something in the way. Okay, so here's today's amiibo. It's Snake. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to crush some cardio or blast my core. Whoa, do I sound just like Snake or what? So tell me, what is it you wish for? Uh, give me something. A pyramid. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now we'll have that to go with our Sphinx. Let's put it back in the lamp for me then. Here's some meow coupons. Thank you so much. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to throw this pyramid in here too because we may end up putting it in the museum or something with our Sphinx. All right, let's go catch some fish. We're ready. We just got to watch out for our other villagers. So I'm not sure exactly which shadow size the loach is. We do have our silver rod that I think we picked up in Mori Land, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, is that a loach? Right off the bat? Nice. It wasn't hard to approach. 9.55 inches. Okay. So we're going to have to keep track of these in our pocket. 9.5 inches. Okay. So we know the size now, and that one's too small to be a loach. So we're just going to scare it. 
Now where'd all our villagers go? Because they were out here fishing before. This might be a loach. We need some competition. We'll go find out in a second who's in first place at the moment and what number we have to beat. Crucian carp. Not helpful. Okay, and this right here, whoops. This right here is the location that Marilee has chosen for Brewster's Coffee Shop. We're gonna be right next to the waterfall. Um, we've planted some trees in front. Actually, I have to plant one more on this side to even it out, don't I? Because we've got two over here. We better water this poor little flower. But yeah, so far we have donated zero. Let's see if the villagers have done anything. Okay. L uh, 1,411 bells. Not too bad. We'll catch you next time, Lloyd. Let's see. We need another loach. This, this might this might be harder than I thought. The river in this game is pretty. It looks nice. There we go. The silver rod is nice because I think it attracts the fish a little more. And they're more likely to turn around and see your bait than with a regular. Hey, we got another loach. 7.3 inches. It's a littler one. All right. Is this a loach? <laughs> Come here, little dude. Oh, a bluegill. Okay, that's a new catch for us then. So we're gonna have to take that one up to Blathers at some point. Or remember to. Turn around, little fishy. Nope. Gonna get a little further ahead of you. Come on, you know you want to. This one was taking his time. <laughs> oh, it is another loach. 7.75. Okay. So, does it tell us the size in our pocket? No. I can't remember which of those two was... I know the, one, the first one we caught was the biggest one because it was like nine something inches. So, let's... These fish keep appearing. I was about to go over to Chip, but we'll try one more. I have to do a better job of remembering the sizes. There's Tangy. Okay, that's not a loach. All right, we'll go talk to uh, we'll go talk to Chip. Oh, and guys, look, our purple roof came in. I like it. The blue did look good, but um, we have purple flowers out front and everything, so I think it looks cute. We're, we're going to stick with it for a while anyway. Okay, Chip, where'd you go? I feel like the second one we caught was the smaller. So we're going to give him that one first. And find out who's winning right now. Looky, 7.3. Okay, I was right. That is the smallest one. Not a new record. Best one. Oh, Lyman, we've got you beat, buddy. <laughs> okay. Well, that means we don't have to give him the other 7-inch one. We'll just go straight to the 9-inch one and get into first place. We are still a couple hours from the end of the fishing tourney, so... There's still time for somebody to beat us. Okay, Looch, right? Let's just have us a little looky at this here fishy fish. 
9.55 inches. It's a new record. Right now you're in first place. That's a good place to be, don't you think? Man, that's a big fish, all right. You know, I never do get tired of a good loach. Doesn't matter how many I eat. <laughs> okay. That's so gross. <laughs> oh, that's right. Let me give you a pufferfish TV. Cool. Didn't we see that in one of our dream tours that we went on? I think we did. Cool. So do we always get fishy items from him? Yeah, we definitely want to get as many as we can then. But 9.55, I don't know what the range is for loaches, so it might be hard to beat that. Let's just take a look in our pocket. I just want to move these up so that the newest ones are at the end so we always know <laughs> which one we just caught. Hey, Cole. Oh, is, is he catching some fish? We just beat Lyman's score. Have you eaten anything recently? If you keep playing like this, you're going to get tired. So you have to make some time to rest and refuel. Take it from someone who's an expert. Thank you. Our little villagers are always reminding us to take breaks. <laughs> it's very sweet. All right. Is, uh, oh, look, our apple trees are in and our cherry trees and our little personal orchard here. So cute. I didn't even notice that earlier. I haven't actually been in the game that long, just long enough to run up to Main Street and look like a lion. Um, oh, so yeah, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to get a bench or something put in here. Okay, uh, Lyman's house is over here. Let's see if he's at home. Nope, he's outside training, aka fishing, probably. So, let's see if we can catch some more. Do we think we can beat our record? You're not a loach. Okay, so for now we're gonna we're gonna assume that our lion mask is lucky. Cause it helped us beat Lyman. <laughs> With his big fish. This is not a loach. But it might be a fish we don't have yet. Because we haven't really done a super lot of fishing. Okay, it's a black bass. He's nice and big. I, I think this one's too small to be a loach, but we'll, we'll catch it anyway. Oh my goodness, there's fish everywhere. I was trying to fish in City Folk the other day and they're going up and down and up and down the river and not seeing anything. And this one, you're just standing there and they just keep appearing and swimming up. <laughs> okay, I think this one's the right size. If we get our pockets full... We may have to run up to Blathers. Let's see which ones of these he wants. You're not a loach either. Come on, man. That one's too little. We'll just scare it. <laughs> scare it so a different one will spawn in. I think that one's the right size. Oh, first bite. Not a loach. All right. Are we at the end? Not quite. All right, you get out of here. Cool. You're not going to catch very many fish standing around looking the other way. Oh, there's Tangy too. Let's see what she's saying. Mary Lee, you don't happen to know any fish catching spells, do you? I want to catch something really special today. We do too. <laughs> it's called the biggest fish. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Can we look in our little book and see what the size range is for those? Record size 9.55. So it just tells us our record size. Okay. That's all right. I think this could be one. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, and then I threw it behind him. Here we go. Well, there's a little honeybee too. I don't think we've caught one of those, but I put the net away. Ooh, we got a loach. Ooh, 8.10. I guess, I guess we'll let it go since, <laughs> since it's not going to beat the record. 
Okay, let's run up to Blathers, donate what we can, and then uh, we'll sell the rest of Reese and do some more fishing. I guess this is a good kind of day to, uh, to get some new fish in the museum. When you're spending that much time on it, you're bound to catch something you don't have yet. <laughs> I would like to finish the museum. I finished... The, my museum in New Horizons with everything. Oh, the bluegill is the only one. Okay. I thought it said one of the other ones was new, but I was only half paying attention, so <laughs> probably just not not seeing it right. Okay, reminds me of a time when I was still in my baby feathers. Yes. He says that a lot. That's it. We'll go sell the rest. Whoops. I'll have to get used to this path being here now. <laughs> it should lead us right to Reese's shop. Perfect. But yeah, so we'll put the path over this way and all the way down here to right here where the beach goes down, which is super cool. And so it circles around this way and creates like a little park right here in this spot, which we'll do something fun with. And then it also created a nice little square area in this spot, which we'll do something fun with. So yeah, we're starting to get some little areas to decorate. Lyman, we beat your score. Hey, are you just goofing around because you can't catch anything? Wrong. Big mistake. While you're slacking off, I'm going to catch a huge fish. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> you're not even near the river, dude. What are you doing over there? Okay. Let's try to catch another one. I, w I would really like to know what the upper limit is for loach. So we know how, how much wiggle room we have to beat our own score. Hey, there's Harry too. Still wearing his purple tie-dye. Nine inches. Darn, our other one was 9.55. Ooh. Alright, I gotta be careful. Running by to scare these fish almost took out a flower. <laughs> We're not trying to take out our flowers. Alright, this guy's the right size, I think. Oh, he might be a little bit big, actually. We'll catch him anyway, just in case he's one we don't have yet. Oh! Barbell Steed. We do have him. Oh, he's a big one. 22 inches. Oh, you're a big one too. We're just gonna scare him. He didn't scare. Go away. Nope. <laughs> you can't scare him. Oh, there's one. I think that one's the right size. Let's see if we can get this one. Whew, it's kind of nice just to have a calm fishing day. Gotcha. Oh, I thought it was going to be a loach. <laughs> nope. Another crucian carp. Even the crucian carp is bigger than the loach. Now he's close enough. There we go. Scared him that time. Oh, what's with all you big fish? Go away. <laughs> I know I said I wanted to catch you for the museum, but I was, I was just being nice. I don't really want to catch you. I want to catch a loach. A really big one. Okay, here's one. 7.35. They're getting smaller. <laughs> oh no. There's a pretty butterfly. Okay, this guy wants to be caught. Oh, we gotta get it out in front of him. Please be a loach. Gotcha. Yes! 
8.9, darn. <laughs> we need bigger, bigger loaches. How much pocket space do we have now? Four spaces, okay. Okay, that one's too small to be a loach. This one could be a loach. How many more times can we say loach in this episode? Woo, he scared me. Biting on the first bite. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I was talking. Oh, I thought I saw a fish there, but nope. Come on, fishies, where are you? Oh, there's one. We got we gotta decide what to do with that little spot across the river there too. I'll we'll have to put in something nice for the coffee drinkers to look at. Another crucian carp. Ooh, there's a little fishy hiding right there. Oh no, <laughs> I pulled the bait too soon. I bet that was a loach too. <laughs> Alright, what about you little dude? We just need 9.6 inches would work. 7.85, too little. Um, you're too big to be a loach, I think. Harry, are you catching all the loaches? Is that why we can't get one? wonder if anybody's beat our score yet. I feel like the, uh, the scores change in this one a lot quicker than they do, like in City Folk or something. If you... If you get the high score, you pretty much can just turn the game off and guarantee you, you won. But in this one, uh, I think in the last fishing tourney, I was fishing and we got the high score and then we went to turn in another fish and we had already been beat. And it was just a few minutes. <laughs> Alright, well I decided maybe the lion mask is scaring all the the big ones away so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try around with our just our regular little pigtails and <laughs> see if we do any better I, I might have to um, extend this path over because I'm used to walking right down here so we might have to extend this path so yeah so it continues up from here and meets up with that other one I think we are gonna do that all right but let's get fishing Catch another loach. Are you a loach? I think you're too big. Yep, too big. Oh, he turned right toward us. Nice. Yeah, loach. No, it's a bluegill. <laughs> There's a lot in this bill. Okay, loaches, where are you? Ooh, I almost hit the button. There we go. <laughs> okay. We'll wait, we'll be patient, but it's not a loach, it's another cruising carp. What kind of flowers should we put around Brewster's? We have pansies kind of up by the front. Oh, we got a loach. 7.45, come on. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have pansies kind of up near the entrance and... I think near Reese's, we put Cosmos around the campsite. And we have a few groups of roses here and there, but they're not, um, they're not like in any specific area. So we could do roses. 
We have plenty of pansies around town. We could do pansies again. Could do some tulips. Um, lilies I'm putting down on the beach, so we probably won't do lilies. And then violets is the other flower, and I'm kind of doing those around Marilee's house. So I think it's between tulips and roses, and maybe pansies. Oh, I hear a balloon. I think. <laughs> I think I hear one. There it is. So I have um, started getting some different stuff from balloons than just the balloon furniture. I've gotten a few different things now. I can't remember specifically what any of them were, <laughs> but they were things other than balloon furniture, so that's good. And look, you guys, we can see Pietro's star-shaped smoke and Bob's little flower-shaped smoke right here in this frame. So cute. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Fix it! What do we get? So the last two balloons I got were balloon stuff and this is also balloon stuff. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna catch three more fish and see if we can get anything to break that record. That one's too small, isn't it? No, that might be the right size. And if we can't, we might have to just hope that nobody beats our 9.55. What's this? This was too small, a pale chub. Okay, that's a new catch for us, so we'll have to take that one up to Blathers later. Okay, this one should be a loach. Please be a loach. A nice big loach. No, it's a cruiser carp. <laughs> we just want to catch one more loach. I would like to be able to enter one more. Okay, how big is this one? 8.5. No, we're just, we're not gonna beat that 9.5, are we? Oh, we can't scare those away. Those are too big. Alright, well, I think our pockets are full again. So, I guess, um... Let's see if our... Our loach is still in the in their lead. Um, forget it. Best entry so far is that 9.55 inch or you caught. No one's managed to top you yet. Okay, well I hope no one does. What time is it? 3.39. So they still have like a little over two hours to fish. I'm going to sell this. I'm gonna go sell this pocket full. <laughs> and then um, and then I think we should probably go check out a dream address for today. Since we're still in the lead, Harry. I like that purple tie-dye on Harry. <laughs> that looks kind of good. I wanna sell. All of our too small and wrong fish, please. We're gonna sell this balloon lamp too. Because we don't need it. I don't know, I think we were doing better with the lion mask on. <laughs> Alright, but we're gonna head up to Main Street again. And, oh, I forgot. We had a new fish in that bunch. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll catch another one. All right, let's head into the dream suite. We'll keep including a dream as long as we're able. Into our PJs. And here we go. Hey. 
It's a snowy one. Malden. Okay. But let's see here. We've got a nice big tree. So one would think there'd be something here. And look at all these pink hybrids, orange hybrids, black, blue. Ooh, and this fancy bench that we've seen right next to the fountain. Look at all these tulips. Wow, pretty already. I kind of like that it's in the snow. I like the snowy trees, especially the cedar trees. They look so pretty in the snow. Okay, before we get too far, where are we? We're in the top left corner. Look at the plaza is right in the very top corner. And the campsite is right here too. Wow, that's kind of cool. Like the little bamboo back here. What else is right around the plaza here? Oh, look at all these blue roses. If they're as hard to get as they are in New Horizons, then that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Okay, let's head over here. Um, we're going to take a peek at the dream address, just in case any of you guys want to check it out. The dreamy town of Malden. From January of 2022. So not too long ago. A couple years. Oh, got a fun little pattern there. Um... I know that's from a cartoon, but I couldn't tell you which one. <laughs> oh, we've got a sphinx and a pyramid here. Cool. That looks really cool in the snow with all these black roses around. And look at this bonfire crackling over here. We've got a clock. Oh, and purple roses. So pretty. Oh, wow. And the modern art cube over here. Can you stop this thing spinning? Nope. <laughs> okay. Wow, they've grouped a lot of their... Um, public works projects right here together right here by the entrance I guess uh, for people coming in off the train they get to see some fun stuff right away got the police station here with a lot of orange flowers of every kind around it got the pansies the roses the tulips cosmos wow <laughs> and Brewster's is right here too that's pretty cool Oh, we got a little hammock. It looks like we got kind of a tiny little neighborhood up here. There's three or four houses grouped up here in the corner, which is super fun. They haven't put any paths in. But, you know, some people like to be free spirits and not be directed by paths all the time. <laughs> it's too bad it's not nighttime, so we can't see that lit up. Whose house is this with all the pretty pink? Robin's house. Oh, we had Robin in our city folk town for a while. She was sweet. Ah, oh, we got a trash can. We, we need to get one of those in Lorien. That'd be super helpful. Look at all these blue pansies, blue lilies, pink, or I'm sorry, blue violets, pink lilies, <laughs> black lilies. They have, I think they have every single hybrid here. And we've got a fountain in front of the town hall. Have they changed their town hall? I'm not sure. I feel like it looks a little different than ours. Ours isn't yellow and green, is it? Huh. I'll have to check when we get back. Now I'm not so sure. Uh, we've got some bushes. Looks like they've strategically placed these bushes for hitting the rock, which is super smart. And here we've got a player house, and there's another player house on the other side. I guess we'll go ahead and take a peek at this one. I like the um, I like that colorful brick, and they've got a bright green roof, even though it's mostly covered in snow, and the cute little picket fence. Good choices. Okay, walking in right away, we see a little bit of spooky furniture. We see a lot of Turkey Day furniture. The Turkey Day wall and floor. We've got a cool little greenhouse back here. Look at this turkey thing up on the wall. A wall lamp? That's kind of odd. <laughs> Got a cool little candelabra on the wall over here. I've not seen that before. A little phonograph there. Oh, and a cuckoo clock. Oh, and they have the morning glories. I love those morning glories. Got the little <laughs> lovely phone. Some art in here. Let's see what's on this side. We're going to try to get through it fairly quick since there are two houses. Okay, so this would be the classic series of furniture and walls and floor. Those are all classic. Super nice. They have the grandfather clock. They have all of the pieces, I think. 
I love this little classic desk. It is so cute. That's one of my favorite items in all of the series. Uh, even though I think in New Horizons it's called Antique Desk. And that might be the one piece they kept from that. Oh wait, I just noticed this gold house trophy here. So they've definitely done the work on their house then. Ooh, we got some creepy crawlies, a scorpion and a tarantula down here. Ew. <laughs> I hear a cicada too, that must be what's in that other cage. Okay, so here we've got the minimalist set. Ooh, and an Eiffel Tower, that's really cool. That must be from Gulliver. And why does that uh, jacket hanging back there look like the one Dr. Shrunk wears? <laughs> Ooh, and they've got a throne in here and a coelacanth. So yeah, they've been doing some major fancy stuff. This ship, I think, is a, um, from a holiday. I want to say Explorer's Day? Yeah. Or at least it is in City Folk. I'm not sure in New Leaf because we haven't played Explorer's Day yet, but <laughs> if it's the same, then um, that's where they got that. So they were playing the holidays, checking, uh, helping out Gulliver, fishing on rainy days. Lots of fun stuff happening in this town. Okay, let's check out the room. Oh, is that a bagpipe? Cool! Well, I haven't seen that before either. That's really cool. We got some more art on the walls there. I wonder if that bagpipe is from Gulliver. That's a fun item. Okay, so now we've got the balloon series. We've got a little matryoshka over here. <laughs> We've got some mush furniture. Oh, I can't get off. There we go. And it uh, looks like the mush wall on wall and floor. So maybe this is the balloon series wall and floor sitting over here. But yeah, I like these. I like the mush furniture. Super cute. Fun little room there. Definitely do seem to uh, keep the sets together, which is nice. Okay, what do we have up here? We have the Modern Series with a little piggy bank. Wait, do we have another cicada up here? <laughs> what is it with the cicadas? Hush, cicada. <laughs> You're very loud. Got a little coin back here. Oh, I thought we could walk into it. Nope. <laughs> and the pizza box. That's fun. Oh, we got a little Christmas nutcracker over here. Yeah, so I think that's another completed series. Very cool. And heading downstairs. Ah, we have the Pave set and the Ice series. Just kind of shoved in here. <laughs> They're using their basement for storage, that's for sure. I see a couple other things there, like an antique radio. There's a snowboard back there and a gravestone. But yeah, it looks like they're mostly just storing those sets down there. It's not really arranged. And sometimes that's what basements are good for. Oh, here's our friend. Friskeen, thanks. <laughs> Looking cute with your little beret. Is that a beret? Okay, what else do we have down here? We got lemons. We got some apple trees, some peaches. Very nice. Pears. Looks like they got a lot of the fruit. We got a kind of a steel bridge here or something. Haven't seen that one before. Got a nice stone bridge on this side. More flowers. Ooh, perfect apples over here. So I've been working at the, uh, the fruit stuff too. And more hybrid flowers. So many more hybrid flowers. And, oh, we got another friend. Coley. Life is having fun. Okay. So is this their house? Yes. They have got the outside, uh modernized for sure. I like the uh, rounded wooden door against the geometry of the rest of it and the rounded windows. Looks really cool. So I'm guessing then that this house is fully upgraded as well. Um, is this the exotic series I think? Yeah. Lots of gold trophies and stuff in here too. That's a That would be fishing and... Oh no, bug catching and that one's got a little house on top. And they've got the the mail crew poster there. A little HHA t-shirt. 
They like having these- oh, this one's got a cricket in the room. <laughs> and I like the song they have playing. They got a couple of the New Year's little bobbleheads, which is fun. I'm not sure which years those are. I kind of like looking inside the houses even more than outside. Alright, we've got snowman furniture here. We've got the ice series in here. And a lot of gyroids. So they have a couple of gyroid collections that they like here. Oh, and there's a little ice cream in the corner. Let's see what's in here. So this is what's in here. Okay, we've got four little- oh, oh! Oh, that's cool! <laughs> that's a little matryoshka too. Okay. Fun. I was not expecting that. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Oh, I like that little shelf on the wall. More balloon furniture. Okay, so this, uh, this resident has been collecting up some villager photos. So we'll see quite a few here, including Hans, Robin, more gyroids. Oh, there's a little candy, a little candy jar. Oh, and another picture. Is that Vesta? Looks like Vesta, super cute. Let's see what's on the left. Oh wow. This is definitely a trophy room. Look at all those trophies. And the throne. We've got another ship from Explorer's Day. And the regal furniture in this room. And three lucky cats. White, black, and gold. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's, there are definitely some collectors here. Very nice. Oh, they got a safe. What do they keep in the safe if all that fancy stuff is out? Oh, and there's the little... I didn't even notice the tree clock there. Oh, my favorite fuzzy rug. <laughs> Look, they got a little hula girl. This looks like a collection of items from Gulliver, I'm guessing. With the cool furniture? Is it called cool furniture in this version? I don't know. We got the nutcracker, this little rooster, some instruments. Yeah, I think a lot of these items are from Gulliver, which is really cool. And even a Christmas tree. There's Lady Liberty. Oh, look at the tiny little windmill model. So cute. Wow, okay. Lots of cool stuff in this room. Oh, there's a little... I can't remember what that's called. Another little model back there of the... Oh my gosh, I can't remember what that's called. Nope, it's not coming to me. Okay, well, it's a cool model anyway. <laughs> Even if you can't remember what it's called. And check out the basement. Looks like they're using it for storage again. Got the Brewster gyroids down here. A little more pave and ice furniture. And what in the world is this? Looks like a little caterpillar couch. <laughs> <laughs> that is super cute. And a little model of Gracie Grace's car. Oh, those are super fun items. I wonder where that caterpillar couch comes from. Very cool. Oh, what is that? Ooh. Is that what's playing the music? To the Edge is currently playing. That is cool. That's a music player. What? That is really kind of creepy and also kind of cool. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if that's something you get like in a bug off. Because I was just thinking since we got like the puffer fish TV from the fishing tourney today. I wonder if that's like something that Nat gives away in the bug off. Hans's house. Wow, I like Hans's house in New Leaf. That is cool. It's all purple. <laughs> His house looks nothing like that in New Horizons. Oh, and look at Lily of the Valley. So they have perfect town. Very nice. Ooh, I like this bridge. I like this one. That's a pretty one. I wonder how you get the different bridges unlocked because I think we've only unlocked like the stone bridge. I don't know. We only had two or three options for bridges in Lorien. So we're gonna have to keep working on getting those unlocked. Okay, have we missed anything? <laughs> have we missed anything in here in town? We probably have. Well, we try to see everything, but it's hard. Oh, we got a lighthouse here. 
Very nice. And some more tropical fruit trees. Whose house is this? Flora's house. Okay, so I have recently learned a neat trick. Oh, there's another lily of the valley that I didn't know before, so I'm kind of sorry that we didn't do this in some of the towns that we visited before. But we're going to go sit next to the tree, and evidently if the tree is big enough, it will give you a history of the town, which is really cool. So we're going to go take a look and see when this town started because their last dream save was in 2022. The town of Malden. The mayor is Cully, okay. That was the second um, resident we met. So here's the residence. Vesta does live here. And Kid Cat, oh. Okay, here's the history, when did they start? Okay, they started in 2020. So, played for at least two years then. And looks like Frida and Kid Cat <laughs> were the first ones to move in, and then Hans. So, uh, looks like they've also kept a lot of their original villagers, which is cool. Visitors so far, one? Oh no. Well, I definitely recommend giving this town a visit if you're able. Okay, guys, <laughs> we just ran back in from visiting the Dream Suite and I put the lion mask back on because I was going to do a little more fishing to see if we could beat that score. But look who's here. It's Phineas. Let's talk to him and see what he's doing here. Oh, and good day to you, youngster. Walking in the evening, well, always makes me feel uneasy. Oh, I'm sorry. By the way, is there something you needed from me? Uh, may I have a badge? Oh, okay, you want a badge, do you? Let's see what kind of badge best suits you. Ho ho! It seems you've had so many different dreams. Yay! I want you to keep it up now. Don't forget to dream. I've got the perfect badge for you. Oh, I'm so excited that we earned one of these before this service gets shut down. If you keep being good, the badge man will bring you a new badge, okay? Thank you, Phineas. Oh, yay, I'm so excited. I got the dreamer badge. I've had a lot of good dreams. Yes, we have. Oh, that's so exciting, you guys. I'm so super excited about that. Okay, I know you can't tell. <laughs> okay, let's just go look at our badge in the thing. Oh, it's got a little rose for players who've experienced a lot of dreams. Cool. Well, we're going to keep dreaming up until the very last minute. That is so fun. Oh, I'm so excited that we got that. What a great way to end the episode. I don't even mind if we don't win the fishing tourney now. Let's go ahead and um, say goodbye for today. Thank you so much for joining me and Mary Lee for St. Patrick's Day and the fishing tourney and our first dream badge. It's so exciting. Please take a moment if you would and click the like button. And if you're enjoying this nostalgic Animal Crossing series, go ahead and click subscribe too so you can join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.